Boom. What's up, guys? So, <clears throat> this video is obviously it's going to be a little bit different. We're not really going to go over the care, but I just wanted to talk about green tree pythons because they in themselves are a gorgeous snake. Um, they definitely come in a wide varieties or sorry a wide variety of colors uh even some patterns i guess you would say um different localities obviously and honestly i don't even know the locality of this guy here a lot of people will tell you though that they are aggressive or at least semi-aggressive i <sighs> I mean, this is the only one that I've ever handled myself, don't get me wrong, but I can't say that they really are. In the wild, they will stay kind of slender, like he is right now. I do need to thicken him up. He is actually 15 years old. So, these guys, it's a great shot right there. These guys obviously will live a very long time with proper care. Again, I'm not gonna do a care video right this second. Um, I will make sure that I put one out and when I do, I'll put an I card up here or here, one of those two places. Um, but as of right now, I just wanted to really just admire the beauty of a green tree python and those eyes. I'm not sure how well that's going to focus. Maybe. Those eyes are something serious, guys. And if you go based off of the... I don't even know really what you would want to call them other than myths. Um, with round eyes are harmless and cat eyes are venomous. Excuse me. Obviously, that's not the case here. This is a python. There's no pythons that are venomous. Now, to say that there's no pythons that are uh, poisonous, that I could not tell you. The difference, which a lot of people honestly don't know, the difference between poison and venom is poison is, this, is if you ingest it. So you eat it. You cook it, you eat it, whatever, or you just take a bite whatever um poison is injected so that's when they bite you so it's you bite them or they bite you that's really the difference in poison and venom <clears throat> there is several non-venomous snakes that are poisonous and the wide or vast majority of venomous snakes that are not poisonous. Um, for instance, there's a lot of people, now I myself have never tried it, not knocking it by no means, but there's a lot of people who uh, eat rattlesnake. And down here in Florida, when we have the Python Challenge down in South Florida, the Everglades, um, people will actually, well, what's up, bro? People will actually go and, uh, cook the catch so it might be you know reticulated pythons or uh burmese pythons on the menu but again i myself i've never tried snake so i can't tell you what it tastes like okay bro <laughs> again the main reason for this video is just to look and show off the sheer beauty of this guy. This is Rayquaza, like the Pokemon. Um, buddy of mine was going through some hard times and uh, had to place this guy. So it's where we came in. And he's just an awesome animal. He's going to be a show animal. Obviously, you don't really want to mess with them too much. Just because it's not their nature to be super, super active all the time. They're uh, mainly nocturnal, so they're mainly active at night. Uh, 
again, these guys are known to be semi-aggressive. I can't say that he's tame, but I can tell you since I've had him and all the handling that I have done with him, he has never one time uh, struck at me. Doesn't mean that he won't, but he has yet to. So that's obviously a plus. Try to get the head up there. Come on. Those eyes are just something else, guys. There you go. Almost looks like a carpet python in the head shape. Those eyes are a, a lot bigger than carpet pythons typically. So I can see why people actually hybrid these with their carpet pythons. Um, I had put him in with my tiger coastal carpet python just to see. And I had not seen no interest in either of them. So turn around. All right. But that's going to be pretty much it with this guy. Uh, like I said, I will do a care video. And when I do, I will put an I card up where I said that I would. Um, but if you guys want to see more videos of awesome animals like this, I don't recommend talking into a snake's face, especially when they're in that S position. Even though the S position does not necessarily mean that it is a striking position, but more of a comfortable position. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, but just because they S up does not mean that they're looking to tag you or they are on the defensive mode. But... If you guys want to keep seeing animals like this, gorgeous creatures, uh, different reptiles, rescued reptiles, and just more care tips and care videos of different reptiles, make sure you comment down below what you guys want to see so I know what to uh, put out for content. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell icon, share my channel, let your friends know, creep your friends out, whatever you want to do, post it on Facebook, you know, because obviously there's some people on your page that don't like reptiles, and that's kind of funny. But anyways, video right there, that's going to be my last upload. This video, for whatever reason, I don't even remember that video. YouTube thinks that video is best for you. You should go check it out. But that bell or that little icon there, sorry, that's gonna be my channel. Make sure you hit it to subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, y'all. I'll see you next time. Take care.